Hello and welcome once again to Animal Tales, actually our seventh edition of Animal Tales. I'm Roz Finn and today we are going to learn about a very exciting event that is happening in Norwich, Vermont in September. And I'm sure that you and hopefully your dog will both think about participating in it. It is a race called Dog Run Dog and I am going to introduce you to some of the uh, participants. Uh, first of all, Sperry Wilson, Paul Worthy Gardner, and Frank Coffin, who uh, ran in the race last year. So, Paul, tell us something about yourself and the race, would you? Sure, I uh, grew up in Norwich, Vermont, and um, went to school in the area, and uh, got this idea to run with dogs, because I think, uh, Dogs um, are uh, a great uh, companions for us all, and I think it gets a lot of people out uh, to, to do some exercising. And I think we get to get the dogs exercising as well, so uh, we invented this event called Dog Run Dog, and this will be our fourth year uh, running it. Yeah. And what date is it going to be? It's uh, September 21st. Uh, it's usually the third Sunday in September, and uh, it starts at 9 a.m. in the morning. And um, tell me, um, Paul, what, what are the proceeds going to? I mean, what, what does this race support? Well, we uh, are very excited this year because we got uh, affiliated with a, an organization called the Morris Animal Foundation, which is, is uh, it's a huge uh, research and development organization that, that helps companion animals of all kinds, uh, from wild animals to uh, uh, domesticated pets. Mm -hmm. And so uh, anybody that has anything to do with animals has been touched by the Morris Animal Foundation. Mm -hmm. And um, so we are uh, going to be uh, using them as one of the benefactors on a national scale. And in Norwich will be uh, donating to them specifically, even though we are still kind of searching for a local benefactor. Mm -hmm. Well, them. maybe somebody's watching here and decides it's just what they want to do for you. Sure. You never know. Um, Sperry, let's talk to you a little bit. Now, uh, you are the regional director of Dog Run Dog, and last year you were in the race. You were a participant in the race. Is that right? That's right. I heard from a friend about the race, and mm -hmm. I'm not a dog owner myself, but I, uh, my sister is a dog lover, and so uh, we borrowed her dog. Mm -hmm. And... Um, <laughs> We ran in the race and had a wonderful time, and the dogs did very well. Um, and that's how I sort of heard about it. And then I connected with Paul afterwards and started getting more involved. More involved. And so this was the first time you'd run in it? Yes. Yes. This is, last year was the first right. year. Right. Yes. Now, um, you are the uh, spokesperson for Frank. I am. I'm today. Frank's yes. spokesperson and yes. Frank's aunt. His aunt and, of course, his, his mother and his agent is actually here in the studio, That's too. That's right. So Frank is very him. well represented. Yes. So apart from, I know that you are very fit because I see you running all the time, but how did you get uh, Frank fit enough? Because uh, I should say this fairly quietly, but Frank has very short legs and it doesn't seem at first glance that he would be a, a wonderful runner but obviously I'm wrong please well, tell me I we, am we didn't know how he would do um, so a lot of it was sort of trial and error he loves to run off a leash although with dog run dog you do need to be on a leash um, and often gets away and, and runs <laughs> quite a lot so we weren't terribly worried about his fitness um, it was the leash that we were a little worried about, but he did very well. Um, Frank only ran the 5K. You also have an option to run a 10K, um, or run without a dog is also an option, or walk with or without a dog. Oh, that was one of the things I was going to ask you, so you could walk with or without, or run. Yes, yeah, so you can gauge yes. how your dog is doing, yes, and yes, run part way, yes. and walk part way. Yes, and you don't um, have to run the whole 5K, or the whole 10K, or whatever, no, it's, certainly it's not. just to be a part of it and a part of this wonderful okay. organization that, okay. that really uh, does such a lot of benefits, such a lot of, of creatures, I'm going to say, all creatures. All creatures, as, the two-legged yes, and the four-legged. The two-legged and the four-legged. And actually, Frank has quite a lot to say for himself, doesn't he, today? He already? does. Yes. And uh, yes. anyway, he was very hmm. speedy, and I think it's best, hmm. if you're at all worried, to check with your vet and make sure yes. your dog is... 
especially if it's a very hot day. Indeed. And um, Paul, I think you, there is going to be a vet there, isn't there? There's a vet. Uh, we actually have a pre-race check that if you're uh, willing to bring your dog in, um, um, she'll uh, uh, look at the dog. Okay, and baby. And you, oh, maybe, right. as well. <laughs> but it's uh, Kim Jones of the Stony Brook uh, yes. Veterinarian yes. Clinic. Yep. It'll be there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have a, uh, a right, do dog behaviorist there, Jennifer oh. Barr. Oh, Jen Barr. Yes. Oh, she's wonderful. From Understanding yes. Dogs. Yes. It'll be there yes. uh, if, okay. you, uh, having, yes. if your dog's having some issues. Well, I'd have the dog's very nervous right. or something right. like that. Right. She could probably help the dog's companion, sure. too, if the Absolutely. person was nervous, right. too. And then, so I suppose along the way you'll have stopping places where the dog can drink and you can... Dog and human drinking. Dog and human oh. drinking. Yeah, yeah right. not the same bowl, but dog and human drinking. We actually did have someone drinking out of the, the same bowl. dog bowl yes. last year. Yeah. Yes, we did. <laughs> With his yeah. dog. <laughs> they must have been and rather desperate. <laughs> and they made the front page of the newspaper. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you something about Frank had a runner flown in from San Francisco to run with him. He did. Yes. He did, yes. He's really becoming quite famous, <laughs> yeah. isn't he? Yes. Isn't he? So you see a great future for this dog run. Can you see maybe having another run in the, in the spring? Maybe two, two, twice maybe a year? Maybe so. Yeah, that would yes. be good. Uh, sort of, that's a possibility. Yes. Yeah, we're, actu we're actually uh, have runs that are taking place in Provincetown, Mass, mm -hmm. on the Cape, at Cape Cod, mm -hmm. um, Southern Pines, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, Sperry is uh, producing and directing races out in Salt Lake City. Oh, really? That's uh, great. In October yes. and mm -hmm. uh, San Francisco in October mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And we've just got, I just got, uh, we're, we have some people interested in London and mm -hmm. Scotland. So we may have the Scotty uh, oh, oh, great. run in oh, Scotland. Oh, yes, but, yes. Uh, we're hooking up with a, yes. another famous dog over there named Beanie. Mm -hmm. uh, Beanie the Beagle has her own website mm -hmm. and is also a runner. So oh, oh. it's starting to. Starting. Well, I think we're going to have to think about Frank having his own website too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> One of the, I just want to say this little interject a bit here too, that, that dogs, it's a great way to exercise your dog, um, running with it. I think sometimes you have to be a little careful um, about the dog's paws, pads, if you do too much running with it, they, they can get rather sore. And lastly, I, I do feel that every dog needs not only to have exercise through its running but it needs to have a really good sniffy walk what i call a sniffy walk yes. a proper walk which is slow and if you're a male dog you lift your leg on every single lamp post and twig or whatever there is around and and but you love to sniff and see what's going on and the foxes and whatever's been around and that's just as important for your dog's well-being as to run with it um, so all the details for this race are going to be coming up on the screen. So I hope you've got your pencils ready or your pens and some paper or whatever. Um, tell us what else there will be at the race, Berry. Will there be things like T-shirts? and? There will be, yes, there will certainly be T-shirts and bandanas and hats. And there will be music following mm -hmm. the race mm -hmm. and nutritious Ah, food. snacks, snacks, yes, and plenty of cold water. Uh, yes, um, and uh, it'll be a wonderful sort of post-race. Yes, party, a post-race party. Post -race party. Right. Well, right. Um, and snacks for dogs, snacks for people. Great. Yeah. Yes, we're having uh, the social club orchestras coming to play music. Oh, I first. see. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, yes, sort so. of. Oh, how much is that? No, I don't like how much is that doggy in the window. But you had a good idea for what <laughs> dog, doggy, okay. dog on blues the or dog, dog on blues. Dog might on be blues. Yes, right. yes. Yes. Um, and is it an actual race? Is there a winner? Yes. So somebody yes. gets a cup. And what does the dog get? There are six places, actually. Oh, wow. Um, mm -hmm. For a number of different categories, age categories, mm -hmm. um, male, female, etc. cetera. Um, so, yes, there are lots of mm -hmm. awards given out. Oh, great. The, uh, yes, coveted, there's a little... The coveted yellow number one bandana is oh. what we're all going for. Oh, there are, I see. There are six yes. colored bandanas yes. from one to six, yes. and uh, each... Uh, winner gets one of those and a matching t-shirt to go with it so well it sounds like a very special and a very exciting and a um, lot of fun and at the the bottom line is that it's um, something that people are doing to make money for a wonderful organization that really tries to help the uh, creatures of this world so please take down the details think about joining in it doesn't matter if you can't run. It doesn't matter if you haven't got a dog. 
Oh, oh Frank! Zen is running oh, here. Oh. Right. Uh, we are going to have a little picture of Frank running, actually. Um, and it doesn't matter. It's just what matters is that you're there and you take part in it, even if you walk for one kilometre. Right. Uh, we would love to have you there. And yes. um, Paul and Sperry and Frank put an awful lot of energy into this. So please be there on September the 21st and participate with all your heart and mind and, of course, your body and hopefully your dog. Yeah. Thank you so much, Sperry. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Frank right. is Thank absent right now. He's gone to see his agent, but uh, he will be there on the 21st. And so I hope we'll see all of you there too. Goodbye from us all. My dog don't bark no more, but he howls all night long. My dog don't bark no more, but he howls all Tell you my dog's been howling Every since his mate's been gone My neighbor told me Your dog won't let me sleep told me your dog won't let me sleep I said he don't mean to be rude but when he's got the blues that's the way he 